Do you feel like you have trouble following a schedule and staying consistent? If you want to learn my top two tips on how you can learn how to stay consistent, stay on track and actually achieve your goals because you're developing more self-discipline, then I want you to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to reveal those two secrets that are going to help you on your way to success. I'm also going to help you understand why discipline is key and motivation is a myth. Secret number one to understanding why you need discipline versus motivation is knowing that motivation is a myth. And if you believe that you need motivation in order to successfully realize a goal, then you will understand by the end of this video why that may be the number one thing that's holding you back from success. The second secret that I'll go over in this video when it comes to discipline and why you need discipline versus motivation is the fact that when things get tough and things get challenging motivation is typically what wanes but your self-discipline is what is going to continue to allow you to push forward through any challenges or any um, blocks that you come up against so if you're ready to learn some top tips on how you can develop more self-discipline then grab a pen grab a piece of paper and get ready to take notes because i'm about to reveal some secrets that'll help you move forward towards your goals. If you're new to my channel, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Yashika. I am the founder of Yashika's Intuition and the mission of my company is to help you live more consciously because I believe that if you are more self-aware, you're able to create a vision within that self-awareness and then go after things in your life that have more meaning and have more purpose instead of just going through the day in day out hamster wheel of life principles that I teach on this channel are the same principles that I use to help pull me out of rock bottom at a time when I was going through multiple challenges at the same time in my life. And they're also the same principles that I use with my private clients to help them go from feeling stuck and confused and uh, maybe feeling like they know that they want more out of life, but don't really know the direction and steps to take to have more clarity and more confidence and more peace and just overall feeling a lot less stressed field. Here on this channel, what you're going to find are spiritual and personal development tools that you don't typically hear in mainstream in order to help you use everything at your disposal to create success in your life. So today I'm going to talk about some self-discipline tips that are going to help you stay on track and help you to be consistent. And I want you to also make sure that you check the description box because I do have a free guide where you can get more of my top tips that you can implement quickly and easily in order for you to see results even faster. And if this is your first time visiting the Yashika's Intuition YouTube channel, then make sure you leave a heart in the comment box below. That way I can welcome you to the sister and um, just thank you for supporting my channel now let's get into these secrets so secret number one secret number one to understanding why you need discipline versus motivation is understanding that if you are relying on motivation or to feel inspired then that could be the number one thing that's blocking your success before I understood that motivation was a myth I would either spend a lot of time a lot of my time doing things that I knew weren't moving me toward my goals. I would spend time watching TV or doing all of these things, knowing that it wasn't moving me in the right direction, but at the same time, not understanding why, if I had these goals that I wanted to accomplish, why I wasn't feeling motivated and inspired to spend my time working on those goals. It was so confusing for me because I had these big goals and these big dreams. And no matter what I did, I couldn't muster up the energy to actually go over those goals. It was confusing because no matter how hard I tried, I would have these big goals and I knew what I needed to do to actually get the work done to achieve the goals, but I couldn't understand why I couldn't muster up the motivation or the inspiration to actually take action on those goals. It was even more difficult because I was taught that if you had these big goals that you really wanted, I mean, the things that I was try aiming for are things that I really wanted. And I was confused. I thought that if I want, wanted them, I would feel motivated and I would feel inspired. And so because I didn't feel that way toward the goals that I wanted to accomplish, I thought that there was something that was wrong. But what I'm going to share with you in this video will show you that that way of thinking is totally incorrect. And then I'll also give you some advice and some um, information on how you can get more tips 
and more tricks to help you to do things the right way. You need to understand that there's another way to accomplish your goals and it's not through that motivation or that inspiration that is very fleeting and is tied to feelings and emotions. It's actually learning how to cultivate more self-discipline which overall is simpler and is proven to help you achieve your goals. You have to understand this. When you rely on motivation, you're relying on yourself to be in a particular state before you take action on something such as your goal, your intentions, or what have you. Not to mention that there's this whole culture that is telling you to tap into your feelings. And if you don't feel like doing something, um, there's a message out there that says that you shouldn't do it. That's a whole nother story that we're going to stick to this one right here. In my personal mastery membership, I share with the ladies in that group some startling statistics on how the decisions that we make are usually and most of the time based on emotions and how when you let your emotions drive the way that you act or the decisions that you make, you end up making bad decisions and you end up having these um less than ideal outcomes. These bad decisions and these less than ideal outcomes then lead to negative consequences. And the story repeats itself because about 80% of those decisions that we make are emotional, emotionally based. So when it comes to discipline versus motivation, discipline is going to win every time because discipline doesn't rely on emotions and in fact drills down to a core set of things that you need to take action on every time. And if you consistently do those things, you are able to achieve the success that you're looking for. And it's actually quite simple because even if you don't feel like it, even if your emotions are going through ups and downs, if you take the action on the key things that you've identified that are going to help move you in the direction towards your goals, you will be successful. When I learned this, it actually was very freeing for me and it helped me to achieve my goals easier and faster because what would happen previously is that I would read a quote or watch a video or watch a self or excuse me or read a self-help book and get my little hit of motivation and then when that motivation ran out i would be sitting on e not wanting to do anything but when i learned to shift over to being a more self-disciplined person i learned that no matter what if i just accomplish this this and this every day or as consistently as possible I was going to be moving in the right direction. So that broke success down into a much simpler way of, you know, moving forward toward the goal. And plus I was no longer stuck on living unconsciously, living on autopilot and letting my emotions run the show. I was actually showing up and making more um, self-aware decisions and actions. So the solution is to stop looking for this feeling of being inspired and being motivated and actually just identify a handful of key things that are going to help move you in the direction that you desire and to no matter what, do those key actions. If you pick the right actions, the ones that are going to make the most impact and you do them as consistently as possible. Like I mentioned before, you're going to be guaranteed to get results and it actually unlocks something else for you. You don't have to believe so much that, that you can accomplish something. You don't have to believe in yourself, especially if you're going after something that you never have gone after before. All you have to do is have faith that the handful of actions that you've picked to be your process towards your goal is going to take you in the right direction and you just do them. The other thing that this triggers is a formation of habits. So as you consistently do these key things that you've identified over and over again, it actually makes it easier for you to do those things because they become a habit. So self-discipline, while it is simple, in fact, more simple than relying on your motivation and your inspiration, it becomes even more simple the longer that you stay disciplined. So before we move into step number two, secret number two, 
just remember that there is a way that you can get even more steps to help you on your journey to not only achieve your goals, but to also learn how to be more self-disciplined and stay on track and actually have the focus to see your goal through to the end. And that is the free guide that I have linked in this description box with some of my top tips on how you can integrate more self-discipline into your life in very easy to follow steps. So make sure you check that out. So if you want to know some initial steps on how you can learn how to integrate more self-discipline into your life, just comment yes in the description box and I will send you a link where you can download a free guide with some of my top tips on how you can become more self-disciplined and integrate more self-discipline into your life. All right, let's move on to secret number two. Secret number two to understanding why you need to tap into discipline versus motivation is because when things get tough or challenging or life seems to get chaotic, the thing that is going to push you through whatever you're going through in that moment is not motivation. It's going to be discipline. And I'll tell you why. Before I understood this tip, when life got hard or when things started piling up on my plate, I would start to freeze up and I almost like quit or give up or like um, move into a state of inaction whenever life seemed to get a little bit more chaotic. The problem was when life was getting chaotic or when it would get chaotic, I would get overwhelmed and when I would get overwhelmed I would get into even more states of inaction and that inaction would cause things to pile up and so that would make me even more overwhelmed and I mentioned this a little bit in the last video but it just made that cycle of inaction and feeling overwhelmed just compound so it got bigger and bigger and worse and worse and you may understand what that feels like in your own life the secondary side effect of all of that is that th when that happens you get tired you look around and you see all of these tasks that you need to complete plus all the new things that you wanted to do to move you in the right direction but because things just seem to be daunting and confusing and like they've gotten the best of you the only thing you really want to do is just curl up in a ball and watch tv and eat comfort food all the stuff that's not good for you and not do anything to help move the needle of the dial forward towards your goals. The truth is there's a solution that will help you to integrate more self-discipline in your life. And even if you hear the word discipline and you think that it has to be tough, I need you to understand that it's not. What I learned by developing more discipline and taking more consistent action is that I was able to manage my time better, decrease my frustration, and then also ensure that I was making better decisions and not being driven off of my impulses. And a byproduct of that is that the results that I experienced just by staying consistent on a few key things actually increased my motivation because motivation increases as you start to take action and you realize the tiny successes that come along with the actions that you take. So in order for you to do this, you're going to have to understand that you're going to have to make progress on small little steps along the way towards your goal. And if you can look at progressing towards your goal in small stages, you also are going to be able to avoid that feeling of burnout or that feeling of overwhelm. One of the key things that makes you revert to your old ways is feeling like you're overwhelmed um, or feeling like things are too big for you to tackle. Looking at things like one big challenge and just thinking that you can't do it rather than looking at things in a smaller process little smaller pieces and then taking action on those smaller pieces in a disciplined way. What you want to do though in order for you to make sure that you're moving forward is again if you're not feeling it, if you're tired, if you're overwhelmed, the small things that you identify, you have to do them no matter what. And if you can do this what you will find is that you will be no doubt closer to your goal than all the other times in the past where you may have given up on yourself. When I learned to promise myself that no matter what, I was gonna take those small steps toward my goal and rely on my discipline rather than motivation, I was able to actually free up more time in my day so that I could knock those things out and get them done and have a time to sit around, to watch TV, to do whatever else I needed to do. And that made working toward my goals seem less overwhelming. And if you feel like you need more resources and videos, make sure you check out the cards in this video as well as some of the other videos that I linked down in the description box below. So now what do you do? 
I mentioned that I have a guide on my top five tips on how you can develop more self-discipline in your life. And so make sure that you grab your free guide. Again, the link is in the description box below. It's going to go over everything you need to integrate more self-discipline in your life, develop more self-discipline in your life so that you can actually start to move forward and start to knock off your goals easier and faster. These are the exact tips, like the, the top tips that I use to actually change my life, like I mentioned earlier in the video, and also have used with my private clients for them to be able to make major changes in their life and do it in a way that felt less overwhelming and do it faster than if they had tried to do it on their own. What would normally cost you thousands of dollars, because that's what my clients pay when they want to work with me privately, is going to be totally free for you if you get the tips through the guide that I mentioned below in the description box. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel for self-discipline tips on how you can learn to become more self-disciplined. Also make sure you like and make sure you comment below. And if you have questions or you have something that you want to cover, want me to cover, having to do with self-discipline, make sure you also leave those questions or comments in the description box below. And I'll make sure that I integrate your suggestions or your comments or your questions into the next videos. For some of you, you're going to be well beyond getting another free guide that's going to give you some free tips because maybe you've already done that. You've already read all the books and tried all the guides and tried integrating tips, but you still find that you're falling a little bit flat. For you, you may want to consider booking a free consultation with me to discuss private coaching. I just opened my books for the spring, so I'm taking on more private clients. And in private coaching, I'm able to work with you one-on-one -on, -one on your specific blocks or barriers so that we can help develop a plan for you to be able to move forward. And then I'm able to support you and also hold you accountable so that you can start to really realize some of the successes and transformations that you need to experience in order to start living life um, towards your vision with more meaning and more purpose. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, you're ready to take the next step, then in the description box, you can also find a link where you can book a free private consultation with me to see if coaching is right for you. Now, if you stay to the end of the video, put your favorite emoji in the comment box. That way I can give you a big thank you for hanging in there, having the discipline to listen to this video from the beginning to the end. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.